Hi everyone, in this video I want to share how I create an application that can able to um, add the site with the latitude and longitude like this and after that I will sort the sites list to the nearest area on the top of the list and when I when we maybe when we moving to the another site or another location we can just uh, pull down the list and then the list will be repressed so um, let's start the tutorial the first thing first that uh, you have to do is uh, as usual uh, setting up the firebase create a uh, project as usual and don't forget to go to setting and then give uh, permission to the firebase or firestore photoflow i mean photoflow account and give uh, two other roles as usual and when you done with the firebase you have to go to uh, setting the google map things so when you go to the setting and then on the uh, on the integration you will find the google maps and as you can see the google map needs api key so you just need to go to tutorial and uh, you have to create an account google cloud and then add a google map sdk library for the android ios and the have javascript this is per web and after that uh, you can copy past the credential into the into the flutter flow page like this this is my APR credential so after that after you're done with the google maps setup um, you have to uh, create a firebase collection like uh, you can see I have one firebase collection the document name is site with two field name and location and the location that the type is latitude and longitude and after that uh, I created the data types which uh, the type is the site app stat Oh, I'm sorry this is appstat uh, and I create a data type data type name is sites data type it's up to you with the same field uh, I mean the site name for a string and then the distance for double uh, this field will be used for the for uh, counting the distance between the device and the latitude location on the sites and after that uh, go to appstat and create uh, some appstat site appstat and for the type is uh, data type and choose the data type and click for its list so after that uh, you have to create a custom action like i show on the previous video uh, this uh, custom function this custom function this is custom action function is for counting distance between two sides which we define two argument that plus one and plus two and will be written the result with a double which is this is the the distance in the matter so uh, after you're done with the custom code uh, we are going to create the page which is this is the first page to adding a location with latitude and longitude um, 
the first thing is I added some list view in this page and then I create or I add some backend query to retrieve uh, the sites from the Firebase collection, query collection and after that I put on the uh, I put list style on the list view and then I I give a name from the Firebase to the title so um, after that uh, on the app bar I add some icon that when I click the icon I call the bottom seat which is the bottom seat is like this uh, there is some um, text text field and then this is the place picker you can find in the widget by speaker and after that on the save action I created a firebase document based on the latitude, longitude and the name show snake bar success and then uh, close the bottom seat and uh, for the another page which is uh, we count the distance uh, the distance between our device and the site and the list of site is uh, the first thing first is on the page load Okay, I mean this uh, dispatch for counting the nearest sites. Uh, for the page load action, when the page load, I added some. I added the action to. The first thing first is, you have to do is to add the app step variable or page state variable total doc with the integer data type uh, this uh, page state I use for count how much the site or uh, the number of sites that uh, we have we already added like uh, this action is I update page state or I set for the null reset value and then I uh, create an uh, I first thing first is I reset and I clear this is the same thing I mean uh, you can delete the one of this action and after that I create a query collection or query collection uh, with the Firebase database to the site collection and after that don't forget to give uh, output name and then I update the total doc app state with the num of list of the query collection that we just create and after that I create a looping condition which uh, as long as total doc app state is greater than zero so uh, they will doing the looping the looping is the first thing first i increase the total doc uh, value with uh, minus one and then i uh, i counting the distance which uh, we put two parameter right the first thing is the site the site uh, location which is uh, i i got from the query from the output site output and choose item at index and specific index and for the specific index choose a uh, total doc app state and for the second argument which is uh, I put from the current device location but 
as your information <coughs> when we're running the flutter flow on the testing mode um, the current device location is uh, we will get for uh, to zero uh, comma zero right so that's not uh, the actual device location but uh, I mean when you're running this function or this uh, this feature on the real device like your Android or your iOS this, uh, this uh, current device location function will be get your uh, real latitude and longitude and after I get the distance between my location or my device location and the uh, site location <coughs> and again don't forget to put the output name and I will update the app stat which is the data type inside of the app stat with the uh, first is site name is I get from the site output with the total doc index and for the distance I get for the custom action that we just create output this time and after that uh, that's it and for the list view on the uh, generate dynamic children I I put some some um, data or some app stat inside so uh, this this is will be uh, retrieve the value from the app stat that we we already created before. And then for the list style uh, on the name, I put the site name, and for the list style, I put the distance. and uh, when application run it uh, will look like this And I think uh, that's it for this tutorial. If you guys uh, have any question, just feel free to ask it on the comment section below. And also, I will uh, making this project as a uh, public, so you guys can clone this project. And I hope that will be uh, making easier for you guys. And that's it. Thank you for watching.